What's up everybody, Saksham here and in this video, we are going to talk about hacking. Now over 5 plus years of experience, I have received a lot of non-ethical requests which I am going to reveal them all in this video. So if you are starting your career in cyber security or already if you are pursuing your career in cyber security, then this video is really important for you. Now the number one malicious request that I have received from a lot of my close ones and a lot of my friends that you gotta have to hack this WhatsApp or maybe this phone. I'm telling you, I have received these requests from such intensity that they tell me that this is about somebody's life. But again, you gotta have to stay in that parameter that you don't do anything illegal. So this is the number one request that you gotta have to ignore at any cost. The second request that I've received quite a lot is related to fake votes. Yes, there are a lot of competitions going on related to, uh, you know, voting and then they decide the winner on the basis of highest votes, which is quite easy to crack for a hacker because, you know, if you're going to explore a little bit of the burp suit and if you're going to go with the uh, permutation combinations with the brute force methodology, I'm pretty sure that you can char a rain of a lot of votes out there. But again, you gotta have to stay into the parameters because whatever you are doing over there, that is created in a log uh, that is created by every website. So again, this is a proven illegal methodology by which you have to stay away. The next request you are going to receive is related to database hacking. Yes, we have all realized that data is gold these days. So there are a lot of attacks available in order to dump the whole data like SQL injection. But again, you gotta have to stay away from that methodology because in the end of this video and in upcoming videos, I'll make you walk through that how you can really make the thefty amount of money by not doing such malicious things though you know I understand that with great power comes the great responsibility still you gotta have to hold down your horses a little bit and you gotta have to use these kind of skills very ethically the next request that I've received quite a lot is related to Wi-Fi hacking. Now you need to realize that if you're trying to crack the passwords at airport or maybe in some companies, it is quite out there that you go ahead and you know, you try to become smart, you put on the VPN and you access a lot of illegal stuff over there. But this is just a small reminder to all of you that you are already sitting under a monitored network, which is quite easy to monitor even if you're using Tor or any kind of VPN, it is very easy to keep an eye on you. So if you're trying to uh, feel that you're quite smart enough by applying some VPN or hacking into Wi-Fi by, the, by their default ID password, again, if there is a good investigator out there, he can easily grab you from the IP addresses because you know, if I tell you very quickly, when the packet is rotated from one place to other place, it is taking your MAC address as well and it is taking your IP address as well. So which is why doing such kind of activity can again put you in a trouble. So I would recommend you to stay away from this. One of the most kiddish thing that I always face on Telegram groups and into a lot of Facebook posts and Instagram posts that is taking revenge from or maybe they are taking revenge from us or maybe Singapore, Korea and they are basically defacing the whole government website. If we will be the one who can secure these kind of website by putting our career into some of the fields like cyber security, then definitely we are going to be on a much better path. So by getting influenced with them, if you are also one of them who are trying to deface somebody's website, then I'm pretty sure if you will face a very good investigator out there, then again, you will be behind the bars. But make sure you don't get provoked by defacing somebody's website or maybe somebody's government website because that is not at all giving you money. Rather than that, if you'll spend your time on hacker one and then you'll hack freely uh, in somebody's website, that will also give you a lot of money rather than, you know, putting a post that he's taking revenge from this and that, something like that. So these were the five things uh, that I have faced quite a lot into my career, which is why I'm telling you right now that if you are trying to think any of that from the cybersecurity field, make sure you keep your expectations low because if you are going to become a security auditor, you are going to make tons of money out there. So this was a quick tip if you are already a cyber security researcher of, or if you are looking to become a cyber security researcher, make sure you take care of these kind of things because I'm pretty sure you're going to receive such requests quite a lot. So this was a quick tip from my side. I'll see you again tomorrow with another video and don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon.